I think we can all agree we have had to adapt over since March and the pandemic that is hitting us here in the United States. And one of the things I've started to notice is how we are educating and how we're educating differently. I got off the call with uh, my team today and we had this conversation about the schedule for the next six months. And the number one thing that came up was I don't know if my kids will be in school next, uh, this coming fall. Instead, they may be doing it online like they did in the spring, which changes everything from the stand of, standpoint of working and being able to go to appointments and do business. And so I got to thinking and I was going through Twitter and a, and a couple other sites and I found uh, this posting about the rise in online education and homeschooling. What I saw was a decrease in childcare. Now think about it. Are you gonna put your child into a childcare facility, a uh, young age with all these other kids? And they're of course touching each other and they're touching things and they're eating things. And you're not gonna do that to your kid because chances are the increase uh, probability of getting the coronavirus for your child, which can be devastating to their health, is higher than ever, okay? So what do you do? Well, we're being forced to stay home. And I think you all can relate to this. We're forced to stay home and we're forced to do education at home. And I'm seeing it within my team. The question is, in my team is, how do I balance this full-time position with educating my kids and keeping my kids entertained for throughout the day? And then how do I create a social environment? And what Google showed in their stats since the first of the year is that spike in homeschooling. I think a lot of people are starting to question, are we homeschooling my kids now? And what if so, what's the purpose of maybe paying for private education? What's the purpose of um, spending money uh, to send my kid to a school? Instead, if I could just homeschool them, maybe it'd be better for our family and for our health so this brought me, this thinking brought to came to my mind of okay so if i'm going to stay home i'm going to work from home i'm going to stay home what do i need to do that if um, i'm going to educate from home what do i need to do that and what companies are providing the information and the tools to do this well let's start from the top to do online education, you've got to have a virtual presence, which means you've got to be able to do a webcam. So who are the companies right now who are leading the way when it comes to both education and business of investing uh, from the standpoint of doing web conferencing or video conferencing? Think of those companies. The second thing to think about is how is that information getting to you how are you obtaining that information and what pipelines are providing it? So are you doing it on your cell phone? Are you doing it uh, via uh, your internet, your cable internet, um, a satellite internet? What are the companies who are providing that information? Which then brings up the subject of 5G technology and the speed that 5G brings us data. I mean, it's a light speed, right? It's supposed to change everything, everything from autonomous cars to uh, how we communicate to doing everything. And then all of a sudden, education is thrown in there. So the speed that I'm able to get the data, the speed you're able to download this video is becoming vitally important because we are more and more online now. Who are the companies here in the US and throughout the world who are gonna provide us that connection? that interaction, the 5G technology. And then from there, who are the companies who are gonna provide security? The companies that are gonna provide us the security so that I don't get spammed, that the bishop of my, uh, my church, uh, the district of uh, my church is in, doesn't have some dummy account, somebody uh, putting up an account, imp uh, impost being, imposturing him, I guess that's the word, um, 
And how do I create security to protect my, my, my information? How do I protect my computers? How do I protect my family? These are the companies now I'm looking for. So think about it. how do I do video conferencing? Okay, the first stage, second stage. How do I um, uh, get the best connection with super fast speeds? Who are those companies? And then security. Okay, so there's got to be a fourth one, right? There's got to be a fourth stage to all this. And I got to believe it's how we socialize. How are we communicating in a world where if I'm four feet in front of you, you can infect me with a virus that is deadly, okay? And don't think this is the last one. This is probably an increase of these kind of corona, uh, COVID viruses is going to escalate according to some of the research I've done. So I'm now thinking, how am I socializing? How am I going to experience new movie premieres or uh, concerts or just gatherings? How is that going to happen? And I think that comes in on the medical side of things. Who are going? Who's going to provide the medical uh, products, goods, uh, services that are going to protect my family and I's health? Those are the things that I'm thinking about right now. So that's four stages of companies that I believe will change the future. The, the key to it all is, is to weed out the weak and go to the leaders and identifying those leaders. And we'll talk about that in future videos of how to identify leading companies and the companies who are changing our world.